Today is Monday, August the 14th, 2017, and this is the uh, beginning of a new week of our video devotionals. I'm so excited that you joined me today. In Psalms 119.96, we read these words. I have seen the consummation of all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. This first, the first part at least, may be difficult to understand. Uh, he's seen the consummation, the fulfillment of all perfection, but the latter part is perhaps more understandable, whereas the first part is uh, huh, much more difficult. Three centuries ago, John Tilliston coined these words, and I quote, These words are variously rendered and understood by interpreters, who in this variety do very much conspire and agree in the same sense. The Chaldee paraphrase render, renders the words, thus I have seen an end of all things about which I have employed my care, but thy commandment is very large. The Syriac version says, I have seen an end of all regions and countries. That is, I have found the compass of the habitable world to be finite and limited, but thy commandment is of a vast extent. Others explain it thus. <clears throat> I have seen an end of all perfection, that is, of all the things of this world, which men value and esteem at so high a rate, of all worldly wisdom and knowledge, of wealth and honor and greatness, which do all perish and pass away. But thy law is eternal and still abideth the same, or as the scripture elsewhere expresses it, the word of the Lord endures forever. End of quote. Since much of the previous verses, before the 96th verse <clears throat> deal with David's affliction, we could conclude that affliction may have pierced through his mind and caused him to know that the best was still imperfect. And that's, I think, the gist of what's being spoken. I have seen the consummation of all perfection. I've seen the best of the best, and, it, and it's still, it's, it's not that fulfilling. As well, David had seen and been involved in wars, battles, personal and corporate, and he could easily understand that under heaven, perfection is lost. I am sure that all of us have experienced the same. And I think sometimes with great disappointment, we thought, wow, this was going to be way better than it was, and it ends up not being nearly as good as we thought it was. I've seen the consummation. I've, I've seen the fulfillment of all perfection. It just really wasn't that good. But I've seen your commandment, and it's exceedingly broad. Whereas perfection is lacking here on earth, the commands of God never lose their perfection. They're exceedingly broad. This is interesting because there are many people who claim to follow Christ who consider his commands extremely narrow and thus restricting. I want you to hear that again. A lot of people who say they follow Jesus consider the commands of God very narrow and very restricting. And others and David's included in this, see them as broad and freeing. Those who see the commands of God as broad and freeing, <laughs> they find those commands releasing them to pursue holiness and righteousness. Whereas God's commands do not give a license to sin, but rather a freedom to duty. Instead of bondage to the old nature, and thus to the sin-stained heart, of man, those who see the commands as freeing state it like this Whom the Son has set free, that man is free indeed. And then we still have that converse side where other people are calling God's ways legalistic. Yet those who, who see them as freeing find themselves in pursuit of holiness and the love of the commands of God, and they, they find such liberty inside those commands. Isn't it interesting how clear life becomes when we walk in the path of righteousness? And is not the path of righteousness known as the perfect law of liberty? God's commands, they cover the entire spectrum of our lives, other things perish. In other words, they get fulfilled and they fade away. But we can, for the duration of our life, trust in the unfailing word of God. 
made a day your heart realize yes I've been disappointed because the things I thought were just so cool so great so awesome on the planet really aren't there but wow God's commands huh they're way broader than I thought they free me to live holy and righteous in Christ Jesus let's pray together Heavenly Father thank you for your commands thank you for the liberty in those commands to pursue holiness and righteousness without the bondage to sin Oh, we glorify you for it. And Lord, help us not to put so much stock in what's temporary, but rather invest heavily in what's eternal. Thank you. Amen. Have a great day.